I know the influence, I know the impact, and I know the vibes. And the girlies love the vibes, and that's just what it's about. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm actually gonna be filming a makeup tutorial. Soft Glam, Soft Beat, that is the only makeup look I know how to do, so that this is probably gonna be the only makeup tutorial that's on this channel. But people have been asking, so I'm gonna give the people what they want. I am no professional, no, none of that. I just do my little one-two here and there, what I could do and call it a day. It's 2023, about to be 2024. If you do not know how to do your makeup, please learn. So, um, let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we're gonna pin our hair back because we don't want our hair in the way. I sure do have some forehead, a cute forehead though. I always say it gives me more space to be creative. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. So first things first, wash your face. The first step of a good makeup base, even if you don't know what you're doing, y'all, is to make sure that your skincare is down pat. Now, I'm somebody who struggles with hormonal acne here and there. So I have my good days and I have my really bad days. I'm gonna start my bases based off of how good my skin is doing right now. I am going to start with the Hydra Beauty Micro Serum from Chanel. Y'all, the original bottle for this is 121. Who's paying that? I'm a sample queen. I'm gonna test some stuff out and if I like it, maybe I'll invest in it. But baby, until this sample run out, we're not in a rush at all. So I'm going to moisturize my face with this. And I try to use a little bit. I can get a little hefty. But I really just like my skin being super hydrated. So yeah, look at like, already y'all like, babes, go get it, go get it. You don't even gotta get the full size, babes. Go get the sample size. This is eating, I already know I'm makeup from the eight. Who decided to join us? Kelly baby. Now we're gonna, okay, there she go. Oh, you wanna say hi? Hey. She don't care about y'all. Unfortunately, she don't care about nobody but herself. For a primer, I'm gonna use my Holy Grail. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. I really hate matte skin, even though I am mad oily, bruh. Like, matte oily. This right here, though, keeps me so glowy and hydrated. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Love it. She's that girl. A lot of Charlotte Tilbury products I actually do like that girl and I don't just be saying stuff just to say I'm saying like <laughs> I've seen a real difference in my makeup using certain products so I guess that's why people invest you know in better makeup the baby drugstore is just fine ain't nothing wrong with a little Milani Maybelline nothing but this is what we working with right now today um going in with foundation we are gonna go in with the Mac Studio like skin foundation um, I really do like this foundation. I've tried the other MAC foundations and they break me out, but this one does not. Um, I do have oily skin and I grease up very quickly. But one thing about it, my skin in any type of makeup is gonna look hydrated, has to. So I literally just dot it. Now you can go heavy depending on how your skin is doing. My skin is doing pretty good. So I'm um, just, being very light-handed with it. I don't put much foundation on my forehead, y'all, because I contour the on my forehead. Yeah. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. We don't need to highlight her no more. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. All of these brushes are from, where did I get these brushes from? Benefit? Ben I don't know, just know this is a flat top foundation brush. I'm gonna blend this. Okay. Next is my concealer. Typically use a higher end concealer, but I ran out, so for now, I'm gonna use my good old trusty e.l.f. concealer. I love this concealer. I get some, damn, I do not play. These designer bags gotta be put up, okay? Put up. I don't even wanna see them out. Put it in the dust bag. I don't even wanna see them creeping through, nothing. So, 
if you don't want to go as heavy as me you don't have to but if you want your makeup to turn out how my makeup looks i suggest you do and i get down here in the corners and i don't like to bring my makeup or my concealer down so much but because i do use a little bit of my foundation around here it works out just fine my foundation and i am going to add it to the outer edges of the concealer just so that it's a more seamless blend i don't know who's calling me from play now oh that's orange therapy why do they keep calling me y'all i'm not coming back let this sit for a little bit before i blend it um i blend my concealer out with this sigma extreme structure brush it's a contour brush but i use it for concealer because it just gets it just does what it needs to do i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out Okay, so next I'm going to take the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I know Tarte is canceled, y'all, but let me just use the last bits of this, please. This is the shade Tan Sand. Oh, I guess uh, a little bit. And on the bridge of my nose. Let it dry a bit. This is what? We're looking like nice and bright. Next, I set my under eye. Now, some people use loose powder. I use pressed powder to set my under eye. I just feel like it works better for me as far as creasing and stuff. So, take my little puffy. My Charlotte Tilbury, um, dang, I didn't scratch this whole thing out, but it's the pressed powder in tan. I dab off the excess though, and I just, Go in and set my under eye. Isn't that so pretty? Like, stop playing. Y'all know that's so pretty. It's like the perfect finish. And I just love it. Like, ever since I started doing this, I never looked back. I never looked back at loose powder, never. It just has this literal airbrush finish that I just love. I put extra, cause I'm extra, on the outskirts. Cause I just like that look. And then down my nose. Down my nose. I take the excess though and I do put it, even though I didn't put any concealer right there, I do put it in the middle of my forehead. My mouth. All right, so I leave that on. Next step, I am going to contour. Now, what I use the bronze slash contour, I don't really contour, I like the bronze. I feel like contour is a little too harsh for me, but I do use the True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance. Love them. It's an OG, super affordable, super affordable. Go in with the contour color and I mix it with the sculptor. It gives me like the perfect bronze. Mix the two. Tap off the excess. I take my um, powder brush, BH. Oh, that's where I got my brushes from, y'all. BH Cosmetics, not Benefit, what the heck? But yeah, this is just a powder brush. I just dab it right there so you can see that. And then swirl it. Now it may look a little muddy right now, but I'm telling you when that blush comes into play, it won't even matter. So I just get that forehead real good. Decrease it a little bit. They can't get all this forehead. It's a little too much for them, you know? They can't take it. She's too cute. Like at the hollows right there, y'all, that's like the perfect place to, bl to bronze. So you wanna make sure that you're doing it and you're pushing it upwards. Don't drag it down because then you're gonna drag your whole face down. Just push it upwards and see up. Yeah, this is what we're looking at so far. We're gonna clean it up, but for now, 
I think this is good enough for me. I had to put on my robe, y'all. I got a little cold. Now this is the snatchies part for real. I take that contour powder, dust it, and I go in and I just contour my nose, but I start with my eyebrows so that it can smoothly transition. And this is how I get that like pinched nose effect. Cause I do have a big nose. I have a lot of big features, but I love my big features. But for the look that I'm going for, I would like my nose to be a little bit more snatched. Looking a bit harsh, so I fix it with my concealer brush and I just make sure that it's blended in well. So yes, a subtle contour, nothing too crazy. Okay, now that we're looking nice and bronze, we're gonna clean up those sides with the same pressed powder. Take it and I just clean up that contour. Okay, so like that, and like so. Now it's time for the fun part, my favorite part, blush. I use the Kat Von D, haven't heard this in a while, but I use the Kat Von D Everlasting Blush in the shade Snapdragon. Love this blush. It's so pretty. I feel like it's perfect for the uh, fall slash winter. It's not too orangey or whatever. It's just like the perfect blush for the fall, I feel like. And I just apply that to the highest temple so that I can blend that concealer and bronzer and just make it like merge together well. And it's so pretty, you guys. I kind of go OD. Go as light or as heavy as you would like, girl. I love me some blush. I love it. But yeah, this is what we're looking like. The last few things I do is I take my telescopic mascara, put it on my bottom lashes. On the bottom. Not too much now. I don't want to be looking like a raccoon that just creeped into somebody's house at the night. Just enough. Just enough to make a statement, you know? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna dust this off with the flat top brush. And the extras. And blend it all together. And this is what the face is looking like. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna line my lips with the Ruby Kisses lip liners. This one is in dark rose, and this one is in dark brown, and I line my lips with both of them. Okay, so my phone died. I mean, not my phone, my camera died. What am I saying? I was saying, I dusted off the powder. I lined my lips with these Ruby Kisses um, lip liners, one in the shade, dark rose. I just feel like she's about to bark again. I just feel it coming, but if she doesn't, then my fault. And this dark brown. I took a little bit of my Stunna Lip Paint by Fenty in the shade Uncuffed, and I'm gonna go over it with this hot chocolate. Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I love this lip gloss, you guys. I'll go around the perimeter with it. And then I brush it. <laughs> this is the final look. This is how I get my soft glam. No, I did not use setting spray simply because I do not have a setting spray right now, but it is colder like months. So setting spray really isn't that much of a need for me because it is not that hot outside anymore it's actually pretty cold but yeah you guys this is it now if you learn anything from this video you learn that you need to learn how to do your makeup by yourself i hope that you've learned something today feel free to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video